guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing my February wrap up where I read a total of six books, which is actually quite an achievement for me because I'm actually quite a slow reader. I was actually like super close to finishing a seventh, but that didn't happen, so yeah. Anyway, the first book that I read was Our Demons Best Friends by Diana T. Scott. First, I'd like to thank Diana for sending me this book in exchange for an honest review. Thank you so much. I freaking love the cover. It is gorgeous. I love the colors and a glimpse of what the characters in the book look like. But the story I had a bit of problem with, though I quite enjoyed it. I rated it 3.8 out of 5 stars. There was a bit of problem with the writing, especially in terms of grammatical errors and stuff. But that aside, I thought that the emotional discussion talked about in this book was really good and it had a really nice Grey's Anatomy vibe to it. Like I felt like I was reading Grey's Anatomy with all the friendships and all the hospital work and stuff. Um, I think this was self-published. I reckon that if it went through a bit more editing I think that it could be a book that a lot of people enjoy as well. Yeah. Next, I read Wandering Star by Romina Russell, which is the second book in the Zodiac series. And I read Zodiac last month and I freaking enjoyed it. So I decided to pick up Wandering Star and I'm reading it 4.4 out of 5 stars, which is just like 0.1 stars lower than Zodiac, which means that it was really good as well. Um, the first half was a little slow piece for me, but because I was already used to all the world building, it didn't really like bother me or anything, I enjoyed it. The second half was just really good, it was really intense and fast paced and a lot of these twists and turns were happening, it was just so good. And I can't wait to read the third book, it's coming out in November and I'm pretty sure the cover is just gonna be stunning because look at this, it's just gorgeous. And then I went to finish Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows for the My Potterheads readathon. So I started the readathon like seven, eight months ago, and finally we're up to the final book, and which is really emotional because it was just perfection. And I just basically finished going through my childhood again. It was from a fresh, more mature perspective this time. I saw all the small issues, and I finally understood the whole plot. Like before this, it was really confusing with all the horcruxes and things like that. But finally, I understood like what was happening full on, I think. And it was just really good and just, I love Harry a lot and I love JK Rowling so much for creating such an amazing world with beautiful characters and just Harry Potter is life. And then I continued on with the Lunar Chronicle series and read Scarlet, the second book. Um, I didn't quite enjoy Cinder that much because I think it was hard for me to get into the writing um, emotionally. And for me, I like books that can sort of make me feel things. And I didn't quite get that from Cinder. And it was a bit difficult for me to get that from Scarlet um, at first. It was hard for me to get into the book. But like starting from halfway till the end, it was really good. The plot was pretty decent and I'm starting to really fall for the romance and the characters are quite nice. I'm actually starting to really like Cinder and I love Kai and what's his name? Thorn. Captain Thorn is also a very interesting character and Wolf is quite, quite attractive and Scarlet was, Scarlet was okay. I think. But anyway, I think that I will be continuing on with the series. I'll probably be reading Crest this month later. Next, um, I finished Fire by Kristen Kishore, um, which is the second book in the Graceling rap. So I read Graceling last month and I loved it. So I decided to listen to the audiobook for Fire and I loved it a lot. I rated it 4.5 out of 5. I don't know if it's because the narrator was just really good at voicing out all the dialogues and narrating in general, but I think the story itself was actually really good as well. So I'm hoping that I can get a physical copy and like read it rather than listening because I think that will be a different experience as well. But I really enjoyed it. I loved the plot. I loved a lot of the characters and just, it was really good. And right now, I'm currently listening to the third book, Bit of Blue. Last but not least, I read Flowers for Algernon by Daniel Keats. This one was for the My Bibliomaniacs read-along. We actually did a live discussion for this book. I'll put down the link in the description box below if you guys wanna watch it. I rated the book a four out of five. It was really good. It had all these like psychology stuff inside. And since I was studying psychology, I quite enjoyed it in that aspect 
and I think um, everyone should try and give that book a go even though I don't think I enjoyed it that much. I still think that it was a really brilliant book and well written. It, was, it just wasn't something I was used to reading, hence I couldn't enjoy it as much. And I was also reading it on ebook because I couldn't get my physical copy yet. And so that kind of affected my reading. So gonna read the physical book someday soon. Now on to my haul. So the first three books are books I got from People or Carousel or basically they're secondhand. Um, first is The Virgin Suicides by Jeffrey Eugenides. I got this book from Hanan. She's on Twitter and Instagram. And I'm just really happy that I got it for a really cheap price because I think I've seen like one of the famous booktubers talking about this book a lot and just like, whoa, this book is cheap. I gotta read it. So I got this. And then I got Days of Blood and Starlight by Lainey Taylor. Okay, I've been looking for this book everywhere because I was really itching to finally read the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy and I can't really start a trilogy unless I have all the books. And this one was like really cheap on carousel, it's second hand, but the seller never read it before. So like it was a really good bargain for me. So yeah, I'm currently reading The Daughter of Smoke and Bone and it's pretty good so far. I'm nearly finished. You'll see me talking about that book next month. And then I got The Rest of Us Just Live Here by Patrick Ness. I think I got this one for like 10 ringgit or something on Carousel. And I think this is the glow in the dark edition. Yeah, apparently some of the images glow in the dark, which is so cool. And the next three books are books that a friend of mine, Rizal, got for me from Big Bad Wolf because he knew that I was looking for Monsters of Men in this edition. And he saw it and he's like, Molly, do you want this? I'm like, oh my god, thank you so much. All the books match. I'm so happy. I also got uh, Shadow and Bone, but this is not actually in the edition that I wanted, but it's really cheap and whatever is the first book, I'll get the second and third book in the same edition. And the last one is Weird Things Customers Say in Bookshops by Jen Campbell. She's also the author of the bookshop book, which I have, and I've read a bit of this book like online and it's hilarious. So thank you so much Rizal for getting me these. So those are the books that I read and got in February. I think I'll be a bit busy in March, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to read a lot. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!